Now, to ask about your podcasts, I know some of them in the second season, they'll be about the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. in particular the, the 1950s, which are a somewhat neglected time. I'll throw out just a few possible forces that led America to start to become more integrated in the 50s, and you tell me which you think are neglected or underrated. One would be uh, professional sports and Jackie Robinson starting to play baseball in the late 40s. Mm -hmm. Another would be entertainers, a move toward having more black uh, leads in movies, and also music, say Chuck Berry or even James Brown. Harry Truman integrating the military or the desire for purposes of Cold War propaganda to actually show this country is making some progress on civil rights issues. I mean, which of those or which other factors do you feel are the ones we're missing in understanding this history? I would put Army, if I had to rank those, Army 1. Okay. Uh, I would, uh, and I would say that the entertainment and sports uh, I, w I, would, I would say that, that had, it was either neutral or worse than neutral. Why worse than neutral? Because I don't think, I actually think if, you, if we were to take the long view, and we would look at this from 100 years from now, we would say that the fact that, that um, so it is not unusual for minorities to first make their mark in sports and entertainment, right? We see that every, see it with, Jews, you see it with Italians, you see it with, you know, Irish. But my thing, the thing that's striking to me about uh, those movements is they move in and out of those worlds pretty quickly. So the Jewish moment in sports is really quite short. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suspect not that surprising. Uh, Boxing especially. <laughs> it's like that long. Um, the... African-American moment in those transitional fields is really long. It continues to this day. And it's almost to the point where you feel like that what happens is they move into those worlds and get stalled there. And their presence in that world um, uh, accentuates and aggravates existing prejudice about their, uh, about their community as opposed to um, serving as a kind of... Um, uh, way station to a better place. So if your problem is that uh, you're facing a series of uh, stereotypes about how you are intellectually inferior, um, how you have a kind of broken culture, how you have, you know, I could go on and on and on with all of the stereotypes that exist, then why is being playing, uh, how does playing brutally violent sports um, help you? Right? How is an association, uh, an, almost a, uh, an over-representation in these, these, these various kinds of public entertainments um, advance your cause? Um, I, I, so I, 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 I kind of, um, uh, I'm for those areas, when, those, those things when they're transitional, and I'm against them when they're, they seem like dead ends.